never give in. Never, never, never. Okay, we start on the main shaft. Uh, this particular shaft didn't have rungs set into the corners of the shaft. This had one that went from side to side. And if we look at the holes, you'll see where the bars actually fitted into the concrete all the way down to the bottom, with the remains of a bar still there at the bottom of the shaft. Brickwork, very well done, very tidy, and looks as if it had been done very recently. Uh, this is the west wall of the OB, looking round to a ventilation pipe. All the way around to the main shaft area. The whole main chamber has completely collapsed. I would say that maybe four to five feet of chalk had been placed on the roof. Thus, when it corroded, it's completely fell in. That ventilation pipe still in situ, going down towards the bottom of the OB, and that surface is about 12 feet away. This ventilation pipe um, has come away from its right angle mounting. This is the west wall. Um, this would have been the exit to the escape tunnel. Very, very corroded roof. and still the remains of a uh, wooden door frame still in situ. This is the east uh, section of the OB that would have been towards the the main shaft. Again, uh, filled in, couldn't get anywhere near that. And this ventilation pipe, like I say, lost its right-angled mounting, and it would have gone into the bank there. And that surfaces some some considerable distance from the OB um, above ground again. I will turn our attention to the escape shaft, or the escape tunnel, shall I say. Again, filled with lots of uh, debris over the years. I'd love to have gone in there, but uh, not able to. Exit's quite a distance. And that's the north, the broken vent pipe, that's where it surfaces. And if we look all the way down to the OB, quite a considerable distance, really. Zoom in there, and you can see the south side vent pipe there and a little find we found a uh, metal tray riveted with runners on the side looks like a destro